In this video, we'll highlight exactly what's going on behind the scenes while you're waiting to board your next flight in Greece. Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeb Brooks from Greenergrass.com, back in Frankfurt Airport. We're on our way to Greece to head behind the scenes at a couple airports. Let's check it out. Here's the plan. We'll fly with Aegean Airlines from here in Frankfurt to Thessaloniki, the second largest city in Greece. There, we'll explore the airport, and the next day, we'll fly onto Rhodes and see that airport too. Uh, this should be a really interesting flight with Aegean. We've uh, actually booked business class, European business class. And that meant we had access to the shorter business class line. So we dropped our bags off and made our way to the gate. Frankfurt Airport is owned and operated by a private company called Fraport. They also operate airports all over the world, including 14 in Greece. In this video, we'll visit two, Thessaloniki and Rhodes. If you haven't seen our behind the scenes video about Frankfurt Airport, I hope you'll check it out. I'll be sure to link it in the description below. And just like that video at Frankfurt, this is not sponsored. However, the unprecedented access we'll get in Greece would not have been possible without our friends at Fraport Greece who made it all possible. As always, we paid for all of our travel ourselves. Our ride today to Thessaloniki is this A321neo with Aegean. Can't wait to get on board. Let's board this bird. Let's head to Thessaloniki. Aegean Airlines operates a fleet of Airbus aircraft, including 14 of these A321neos. Domestically, you'll also find turboprops operating inter-island flights. Welcome on board this one-year-old A321neo. It's a beautiful cabin here for, for Aegean, no doubt. Very excited to be up in, in uh, seat 4C today. European business class really just means the middle seat is blocked. But on Aegean's Airbus fleet, the rows toward the front of the plane offer generous legroom. In the absence of seatback entertainment, it's always nice to see this device holder, especially when there's a USB power port right next door. So nice to see airlines with uh, actual magazines. You know, in the US, it's only United that still offers it. Hemispheres. Printed menus with multiple options? A wine list? A full bar menu? And pre-departure beverages and actual glasses? Well, this is pretty impressive for business class in Europe. And while this may all seem like just a simple flight to you, when we get to Greece, you're going behind the scenes to see just how complicated it is to get any flight off the ground, let alone the roughly 100,000 that take off every day. We'll see the crew briefing, baggage loading, fueling, catering, and more. You'll be amazed at the symphony that happens before, between, and after every flight, every single day. And with Frankfurt behind us, we settled in for this two-hour flight to Greece. Wi-Fi was available on board, but I found the streaming entertainment and moving map far more interesting than surfing the web. Before lunch, we were offered hot towels and pillows. I chose to peruse the magazine, though, in order to learn a little bit more about Aegean's fleet. When it came time to order, Suzanne chose the chicken. The Smyrny sauce and Gruyere cheese, she said, were excellent additions. Now I had the veal, and it was really special. But how did this food even get here? Well, keep watching. We'll show you when we land. These are certainly impressive meals, considering what most other airlines serve on intra-European flights, even in business class. But the food, as nice as it is, is not the best part. That award goes to the coffee. That's an actual espresso. This Airbus A321neo has space for up to 220 passengers. On our trip, the flight was pretty close to full. Just before we began our approach, we were offered another hot towel and some chocolates. we caught our first glimpse of the beautiful new terminal that was opened in June of 2020. Thessaloniki is the second biggest city in Greece and a hub for Aegean. The airport itself has between 150 and 250 aircraft movements a day. An aircraft movement is a takeoff or landing. We call it an operation in the US. Six or seven million passengers pass through here every year. Unlike a lot of the airports in Greece, this one's not seasonal. Instead, uh, passengers are using it throughout the year. 
And as much as you and I may think of Greece as a holiday destination, aviation is a critical lifeline year-round here. With such varied geography and islands throughout this country, aviation is essential for navigating throughout Greece. And the airport here at Thessaloniki does a great job of making it as easy as it possible for those traveling through this city. Let's go behind the scenes. And while you and I are hanging out around that terminal, maybe even exploring the beautiful Aegean Lounge, there's a lot more happening behind the scenes for every single onward flight. For example, in this rarely seen part of well, any airport terminal, your bags are making their way through this complex baggage belt system to be loaded onto the plane. And even the way they're loaded is designed to save time and speed up the process on the other end. These bags here are being loaded up for the Aegean flight to Munich. Now, those that are local bags, or the ones that are staying in Munich, will be loaded onto one trolley, and then another one will have connecting bags. So in theory, it makes it a little faster on the other end for those baggage handlers to sort the bags uh, when they get to Munich. Now, while they're working busily out here, your flight crew is receiving a briefing about the upcoming flight. During this time, they'll discuss the route, weather, and anything else particularly unique about the flight, including any special requests or needs from passengers. Did you know that the people loading your bags and working out here on the apron may not be employees of the airline you're flying? Here in Thessaloniki, Gold Air manages the ground handling for Aegean. We'll see even more of what happens out here when we reach Rhodes, and believe me, you won't want to miss it. Thessaloniki has 44 check-in desks spread across a number of airlines, but we'll be flying Aegean today again, uh, this time to Rhodes. If you're a passenger with reduced mobility or need any kind of other extra assistance, you can come to this office and get it. They'll help you through security and onto your gate. There are even help points outside throughout the airport to request this assistance. They help 140 passengers every day. On the other side of security, you'll find plenty of shopping, restaurants, and naturally stunning views of all the action we saw yesterday. But the best part of the Thessaloniki airport has got to be the Aegean Lounge. I love that this lounge offers lockers for you to put your carry-on bags so you can relax without having to carry things around. It's a modern and comfortable space. There are tons of Greek delicacies on the buffet. And you can enjoy even more views of the airfield. My highlight? We're gonna actually board the airplane from here. We're gonna walk out right out that door and then be on the airplane. There are not many lounges around the world that offer that, but uh, when you can do it, it sure is nice. Our airplane's just arrived and it should be ready for us in 35 minutes or less. These guys are pros at turning these things around. And we'll show you exactly how they do it when we get to Rhodes. By now, we were familiar with these seats and settled in quickly. Soon, those Gold Air employees were pushing us back and we were taxiing out to the runway for the one-hour flight over to Rhodes. As we made our way over the Greek islands, we enjoyed another solid meal from the Aegean crew. The salmon was fresh, but the crust and the chicken was so good. There's no doubt, a flight over Greece is one of the most beautiful in the world. Everything's just so picturesque here. Before long, the island of Rhodes appeared and soon, the airport too. We'd be on the ground in no time. Welcome to Rhodes. This airport is most busy during the summer, and in the peak days, they can have as many as 300 aircraft movements a day, and something like 12,000 departing passengers. Let's take a look behind the scenes. 
I'm not sure I've ever been quite as impressed as I was watching the Gold Air team prepare these airplanes for their next trip. It's truly incredible to see the efficiency with which these ground handlers are uh, unloading this A320neo and getting it ready to head back out. From the moment your plane pulls up to the gate, Aegean and their partners at Gold Air have only 35 minutes to get it going on to its next destination. Let's see how they do it. First, stairs are pulled up to the plane and passengers begin disembarking. They're met by waiting buses. Meanwhile, arriving bags are offloaded. The outbound bags get staged, the plane gets cleaned and trash is removed, the pilots conduct a safety check, catering gets loaded, the plane takes on fuel, and the outbound bags come next. And while the Gold Air team continues to work below the wing, 180 passengers begin boarding. And once that's done, the main cabin door is closed, the stairs are pulled away, and they're off to Athens as the tug is connected, marking another on-time pushback, all within 35 minutes. Now that uh, group of passengers are on their way to Athens, thanks to the hard work of so many people down here on the apron. That was, that was incredible to see up close. But let's get even closer to the action. Back inside the terminal, you'll find plenty of shopping, including some local favorites, plenty of restaurants, and of course, views of the ramp. Between now and the next time, see you in the sky. We're traveling today with Aegean Airlines. Uh, we're going through Thessaloniki, 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 <sighs> through Thessaloniki, Thessaloniki. Let's head to Thessaloniki. <coughs> Inside you'll find 18. This is the Thessaloniki. Welcome to Thessaloniki.